purpose of this video is to discuss the NetIQ App Manager Task Scheduler service. The Task Scheduler service is a component of App Manager introduced in version 9. The creation of this new component allows small environments to host the App Manager repository, commonly referred to as the QDB, Control Center repository, commonly referred to as the CCDB, on SQL Server Express editions. The Task Scheduler is a Windows service that schedules SQL Server jobs for the QDB and CCDB. In earlier versions of App Manager, the Microsoft SQL Server agent scheduled the jobs. Task Scheduler is one of the required components of App Manager 9. For version 9 repositories to function correctly, you must install the service and then use the Task Scheduler configuration utility to add the repositories to the service. You also use this utility to change the schedule for SQL Server jobs or to disable specific jobs. Test Scheduler can be installed on any machine running Windows XP or newer or Windows Server 2003 or newer. The service does not have to run on a dedicated machine or server. However, it must have network connectivity with both the App Manager repository and the Control Center repositories. Let's take a look at how to install the Task Scheduler. Browse to the folder where you extracted the AM9 Suite setup file. Double click on the setup folder. Right click on AM Setup and choose Run as Administrator. If you have UAC enabled, click Yes. At the installation screen, choose Production and then under Management Site, choose Task Scheduler. Then click Next. You will be presented with a pre-installation check re report. You can click on the link to see if you meet all of the requirements for Task Scheduler to be installed. Then click Next. At the Welcome screen, click Next. Choose to accept the license agreement, then click Next. Here you can change the default location of where Task Scheduler is installed. If you want to keep the default, just click Next. You have two choices when it comes to how the service runs. You can choose to have it run as a local system account. If you do this, then you must select SQL Server Authentication when you add your repositories. Or you can run the service account as a domain or Windows user. The Windows user must be a member of the local administrator group and have permission to the repositories. Here we want to use a Windows user account. I have my service account typed in. Enter the credentials, click Next, and then click Install at the Ready to Install the Program screen. You have the option of not opening the Task Scheduler Service Configuration Utility. If you uncheck this, then you must run the Configuration Utility from the Start menu. Go ahead and click Finish. And after a few seconds, the Configuration Utility will start. As previously mentioned, in order for App Manager 9 and later releases to function properly, you must add the repositories to the Task Scheduler. In order to do that, open the Task Scheduler Configuration Utility, click on Task, Repository, and then Add. You will be prompted for the SQL Server instance name. Please note that if you are not using the default port of 1433, you can define that here by adding a comma and then the port that you are using. I am using the default port, so I do not need to define that here. My QDB database name is just simply QDB. We chose Windows Authentication for the service to run as, so we're going to choose Windows Authentication here. If you chose Local Service, then you would click here and choose your SQL Server Authentication and enter those credentials here. Click OK, and it should add the repository. You will notice that all of the jobs that have been defined show up, along with their schedule and status. 
It will also give you the execution status. And here's where you can check to see if a job has failed in the past. To add the Control Center repository, we're going to click Add underneath Tasks. Type in our database, our SQL Server instance, and our database name, which is NQCCDB. Again, Windows Authentication. Click OK. And now you see the jobs associated with the Control Center repository. Two other tasks that can be performed in the Task Scheduler Configuration Utility. Change the schedule of a job or disable a job. To change the schedule, you will click on the repository and then the job that you want to modify. Over on the right, you see the option to change. Click on that and then you can modify the schedule that this job runs on. To disable a job, you simply highlight it and then click on Disable underneath Tasks in the right-hand column, and you will see that the status has changed. Additional job management tasks, such as the ability to right-click and run a job or add a job via the configuration utility, is scheduled for inclusion in a later release or update to the component. Thank you.